you guys like Bill Burr? Yeah, you guys like Bill Burr, right? You guys like Bill Burr as much as I like Bill Burr, right? Cool. Bill Burr with one of the most epic, epic rants you've ever heard in your entire life from the recent episode of Bill Burr that I recorded and I had to share with you guys. Strap in for an epic, epic Bill Burr rant. Listen closely, please listen closely. Listen how easily he gets triggered. <laughs> I love him so much. He gets triggered by these emails so quickly. Listen. That's not it. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Fasting and Band-Aids. All right. For those of you new to the podcast, I've been doing this thing where I do a three-day fast at the beginning of every month. Um, it sucked in January, February, and March, but this this week it wasn't that uh, this month it wasn't that bad i think i'm getting used to it and uh it's kind of a nice way to uh keep your weight you know and it's also a nice way to kind of purge any sort of like you know sugar salt tobacco coffee whatever thing you're you're uh, the latest thing you're addicted to that you're substituting for something else um, so I've kind of been enjoying it. So I love this hopefully this person so doesn't ruin it for me. Fasting and Band-Aids. Hey, Billy Thin Skin Fat. <clears throat> um, thin Skin Fat. I don't know. I don't get that one. Uh, have you spoke with a professional about your fasting regime? My profession involves nutritional science and recovery. There are a lot of people who are actually unnecessarily causing their body to cycle through metabolic stages at a very high rate in a very unnatural way all right well you started with fear let's keep going let's see what we got here um let's see all right i'm sure you did your own research before diving in i didn't i always re recommend you get the proper blood work done before and after each fast for three to six months another concern would be your muscles after constantly feeding and then withholding of minerals and proteins can affect long-term muscle mass. Uh, I hear a lot of people trying programs without the proper monitoring. Oh, that's 100% me. Other than resting your tongue, which is measurable, uh, the rest of the benefits can fall under the placebo effect. I don't know what the placebo effect is. People who just feel better are likely to feel that way because their numbers never level off because they're always eating. Just looking out. Uh, we need you out there. Thanks for all the laughs. Oh, and P.S. Did you hear about Band-Aids? Did not hear about Band-Aids. So what are you telling me? So now you're telling me this is like a fucking bad thing? I swear to God. Can, I, can, I, can you fucking do anything? Can you fucking do anything? Can you fucking do anything? You literally cannot fucking do anything without someone go, well, actually, you want to fucking do this and that. And then you know what I'll do? Then I'll go to some stupid fucking nutritionist, and then someone will go, well, actually, I heard this nutritionist say this. Here's the fucking thing about all of that shit, okay? There's no fucking way anybody has any fucking idea what anything fucking does to you anymore because no one knows what the fuck is in whatever the fuck they're eating. That's it, okay? Because the food lobby is too fucking strong. They infiltrated every watchdog group in government. The fucking idiots on the right convinced poor ass people on the right. You don't want big government all up in your life. And what they did was get rid of all of these watchdog fucking groups. And all of these politicians on both sides got fucking paid off. So now you can literally say something is fucking organic. You can literally just say something's good for you. You can do all of that fucking shit when it's a literally 180 the other fucking way. Can I just have my fucking three-day fast without you saying, like, we need you out there, like I'm going to fucking <laughs> die or something? It's a fucking three-day fast. <sighs> Fuck. <laughs> This right here is why I'm ju I've just pulled away from people. It's why I don't talk to other parents. <clears throat> Especially parents with kids older than mine. All they do is just predict horrible shit. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I love that age. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Because it's all going to go bad. Fuck you. Maybe you suck at being a parent. How about that? Maybe it isn't that bad. Maybe you're fucking soft. How the fuck do I even know this person that wrote in is even a nutritionist? How the fuck do I know? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. 
honestly, he's so right, isn't he? He's so fucking right. That's one of the main reasons why I usually don't tell anybody what I'm doing. That's one of the annoying things. Whenever you start working out, whenever you start eating healthy, whenever you stop boozing, stop doing drugs, whatever your vice is, whatever you're, you've been indulging, whenever you start to like, you know, improve your life, suddenly everybody in your friendship group, everybody in your family becomes a fucking expert in the thing that you are now abstaining from giving you all these warnings, all these proclamations, all these cautions, whatever it may be. It's like, bruh, how did you turn into an expert in fucking diet and nutrition overnight? Just because now suddenly I'm saying I'm not fucking eating carbs. Now suddenly it's like, no, but you need carbs in your diet. You got to have balance in it. You got to like, shut the fuck up, man. Let me do my thing and you can do your thing. But everybody always has something to say. Always, always. Especially the fasting thing. I found I found the fasting thing triggers people a lot more than even saying you're on like, you know, keto and something. Whenever I've told somebody, oh, I'm just fasting for the weekend or I'm doing a one day fast or something, people get really triggered. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a, a projection because some people can't fast themselves and they could never picture having to abstain from something. So they look at you, they're like, oh my God, I can't believe he's doing that. Because they're now thinking, like, I could never do that. It's like, bro, it's not that serious. Like, um, even Bill Burr's thing, what he's saying, like, he's, what, fasting three days every once per month. That's minor. A three-day fast one time per month is minor, bro. Like, it's not that deep, really. Especially if you start over the weekend. It's not that deep. It really isn't. So... I completely understand what he's saying. And again, he's doing this like, you know, when he doesn't need to, he's in Hollywood. If he wanted to, he could easily get a, an Ozempic prescription and do all that shit. But he obviously wants to lose weight the normal or the, the you know, the good way, the long, probably the more, um, sus, you know, sustainable way. And people still have something to say. I, I feel his pain. Honestly, I feel his pain. And I feel his pain about pulling away from people because people just want to get involved in your shit or project all their insecurities onto you and you have to deal with that in real time that's why i don't talk to people in real life either because you know or even share things in general i'm generally somebody that kind of keeps my cards close to my chest and when i'm ready to share when i've done the thing then i'll tell you but i'm not going to tell you in the process so you can kind of put me off fuck that shit fuck that noise i mean you're not going to put me off motherfucker i'm going to do what i want to do and then you're going to fucking watch but yeah big up bilbo bilbo is a fucking legend absolutely love him absolutely love him and to be fair as well monday morning fucking podcast was definitely one of my inspirations before i started podding on my own especially for the solo thing he definitely was one of my inspirations because he's able to kind of rant and rave into a microphone by himself without little encouragement sometimes even without topics he just starts talking he's really fucking good at it and um yeah i've always fucking looked up to him bill burr is definitely one of my north stars he's definitely a hero of mine bill burr is definitely my north star and definitely a hero 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 of mine 